Hi, I'm Eric Kunz, Senior Product Manager with Furuno. And today's Furuno Quick Take is all about the new enhanced version of the easy routing feature in the GP1670 and GP1870 available from us. With the enhanced software, the easy routing feature is very easy to use. As you can see, I'm starting out in the Pacific Northwest, and I'm going to zoom in to a place in Puget Sound right outside of Tacoma called Tacoma Harbor. From Tacoma Harbor, I'm just going to go ahead and press this roto key, and from here I can select easy routing. With easy routing, I can just select my starting point and then move the cursor up to, to the place I want to go, my destination. And I'm going to select a place right outside of, uh, right outside of Seattle. And then click the, click the roto key again, and that sets my destination. Once I set my destination, I'm going to calculate. So I just press enter. It'll give me a quick warning screen, which I say continue by pressing the roto key. And now it'll start calculating my easy route. The calculation can take anywhere from a few seconds up to a couple minutes, depending on how complicated the route is. Now that the easy route is done, you can see that the GP1870 and 1670 will produce an easy routing report. You can see that the route has been calculated, the total length of the route, the number of legs in the route, and whether there's any unsafe potentially unsafe or safe legs in the route. You can see that I can press the enter key to save the route or I can actually press the escape key to try again. In this case, before I do anything else, I'm going to zoom in on the route and just check each leg by doing a quick flyover with my cursor. I'm going to zoom up and just kind of stop and check and see how close and where the green versus the yellow legs are. You can see that the yellow legs actually in this case pass through shipping lanes which would automatically give me a warning that there may be traffic in an, or a congestion in an area where, uh, where the route is planned. It also gives me a wide area to show how wide the width of the path that I've set in my easy routing parameters are. If I zoom out a little bit I can check out the whole screen and just see where the route takes me make sure everything is safe. After the easy route has been calculated and I've done a quick flyover by scrolling and zooming, I can then just press the enter key to accept the route. The easy route will be automatically saved and the mode will be exited. And that's just how easy it is to create an easy route with the newly enhanced software in the Furuno GP1670 and 1870F. Now to configure the easy routing feature for your specific vessel, it is required to go in one time and set up the easy routing parameters. And to do that, it's fairly easy. All I do is press and hold the menu key, go into the plotter menu, and then go down to easy routing. From here, you can see I can actually enter my starting and destination points, not just graphically as we did already, but also numerically if I have a specific waypoint lat long. Then I can actually go in and set my safe depth my safe height, a safety corridor, which is basically the width of the track that I want to be, uh, that I want to configure. From here I can set the timeout parameter in case the easy routing calculation takes too long. And I can also set the safe margin and draft respect settings. And the safe margin setting I can choose to ignore and that would allow me to get closer than an area of 300 meters to land or a dangerous object. And the draft respect mode I can also turn off if I want, don't want to use the default safe depth calculation. And that's it. It's really just that easy to create an easy route with the enhanced software in the Furuno GP1670 and 1870F. Thanks for joining me today on Furuno's Quick Take. For more information, go to furunousa.com.